Welcome back. We are here at the League of New Hampshire Craftsmen's Headquarters building in Concord, New Hampshire. And today we are going to meet Andy Hampton of Andy Hampton Pottery. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Well, this is a gorgeous place to have the headquarters for the League and to have some of your items here. Yes, it's the best venue that I know of mm -hmm. in, in New Hampshire. Mm -hmm, it yeah. really is. Tell us a little bit about your work. Okay, I've been a potter for over 40 years. I apprenticed with a potter that had, had trained in Japan, and mm -hmm. I, he had a two-year apprenticeship program in Western Massachusetts at the Great Barrington Pottery, and mm -hmm. so I studied with him for two and a half years wow. uh, before launching out on my own. Mm -hmm. I met my wife while I was an apprentice because she came down to be an apprentice as well. Oh. And uh, I was trained to make dinnerware mm -hmm. uh, and accessories, and so I've sort of continued that tradition on in my work for the last 40 years. Yeah. 40 or 40. 4? Oh 40. my goodness! Years, yes. Wonderful! So you've been doing this for yes. a lifetime. Yes. Wonderful. Now do you have your own studio at your home with yes, a kiln, etc.? Uh, I recently moved, well four years ago we moved into this home in Chichester and mm -hmm. I built a kiln and I have my studio in the basement. Mm -hmm. yes. Very nice. And um, how often do, do you do this as a full-time job? I No, I, I do it as an application now. I have had it as a full-time job mm -hmm. but it was very difficult to make ends meet. It can be so, difficult. Uh, my wife and I went back to work, and I now do it as an avocation. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, holding in your hand, yes. you have a sample of your work. That's this is, really this beautiful. This is one of my new mugs this year. This was fired in a wood fire kiln. It's uh -huh. porcelain. Uh, it has a number of different glazes on the outside, it's but this porcelain. is a representation of some of my pieces. Okay. Yes. Do you work in clay as well? I work in porcelain and stoneware. You do? Yes. Okay. Yes. So that's yes. unique. Yes. To, to the potters. Now what kind of glazing is on this particular cup? Uh, this is a high temperature, they're basically Japanese glazes okay. uh, that have been adapted to American chemicals and okay. it's something that somebody else developed and then I just found ones that I liked and, and uh -huh, used them. Uh -huh. yes. It's impressive to hear the temperatures that you work uh -huh. at. We were talking a little right. bit off camera. Tell yeah. me what that kiln gets up okay. to. Uh, the wood, we fire both in wood kiln and okay. a gas kiln right. and we fire them to 2300 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, how long does that take to cool off? A uh, couple be of three a day. days. Yeah, uh, three days. <laughs> yeah, we let you want it to cool down very slowly. Right. So there's not a shock to the clay body. Uh huh. Yeah. Now, what's your favorite pot of pottery? I think firing and then bringing the pots out. It's like Christmas every time you open. It's a the big kiln. surprise because isn't you have it? you have things in there that you're experimenting with, and you also have things that that you do over and over again. But every time you fire the kiln, they come out a little bit different because it's right. it's influenced by either the ash flying through the kiln from mm -hmm. the wood firing, or either or the atmosphere, whether it's low. Low pressure or high pressure can have yeah. a different effect on the firing, Neat. even if it's in a gas kiln. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it's always a happy surprise. And there's, a, there's <laughs> always a human factor in there as well. Sure. Yeah. Neat. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the League because you're okay. a big proponent of yes, their I education. Am. Absolutely. The League of New Hampshire Craftsmen's uh, goal really is to teach, is to promote crafts and to teach uh, the new generations that are coming up. Mm -hmm. So whether it's uh, here at the League headquarters, we have classes here on a year, all the year round. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a metalworking shop and jewelry shop in the basement. Uh, in the different uh, galleries that we have throughout the state, there's a lead, uh, teaching component in those, sure. in those as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and then at the Craftsman's Fair, there's people demonstrating and yes. there's things that people can sign up for and they can learn how to throw a pot or yeah. or turn something on the lathe or yeah. just many different it's great for kids it's too. fantastic for mm -hmm, kids mm -hmm. yes yes Getting and of course next. they are the next generation right. so anything we can do to promote crafts and get them interested in it in having you know enjoyable things in their homes and then they want to make enjoyable things themselves for other people Neat. Well, and you do a lot of custom work, so your email is on our web, is on our screen right now, okay, so people can you. get in touch with you. Um, and of course, anybody can see your work at the upcoming Craftsman's yes. Fair and throughout the different shops of yes. the league has in, throughout the uh, state. Four, four of the seven shops. Okay, I'm, I'm including this one in Concord. Yes. Very good. Yes. Okay. Well, best wishes All and right. thank you for your thank time. Thank you so much for interviewing me. Take care, okay. Andy. To check out more videos like this one, click here. And to find our YCN News, click here. You can find out more information about our guest today and find a link to the full show in the description below. With new videos every week, be sure you subscribe to our channel 
and keep up with everything that's going on in the Kearsarge region. Thanks for watching the Kearsarge Chronicle.